What's up guys, Hong Yin here for OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, consider subscribing. Here, we're all about fitness and martial arts for older dudes. So, myself, I'm 41 years old. Brown belt in judo, been doing that for about uh, four years. Six years prior, I did uh, Dillian Jiu Jitsu, so I'm about 10 years in into grappling and of course a lifelong martial artist. Today's video is about why I started Muay Thai at the age of 41. I have foundations in striking. So I've, did, I've done Taekwondo for three years when I was younger. I've uh, done a bunch of boxing classes here and there, right? When I was doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So a couple of years back ago, when I was still uh, into it, when I was doing BJJ, I was boxing and doing Thai boxing. I was okay, in my opinion. <laughs> I could spar, I had, you know, my, my basics, my fundamentals were there, my reflexes were pretty much on point, I feel. I mean, obviously they weren't at a uh, good enough to be at a competitive level. Fast forward a couple of years, I'm, uh, I'm at, at my judo club. They offer Muay Thai too. So I decided, hey, you know what, let me get back into this. Cause now I, you know, like everything, when everything is centralized, so I got my judo there, my wrestling there, I train people there and there's Muay Thai. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do Muay Thai. Yeah, it's gonna be easy. And you know, throwing and kicking, I'm like, okay, it's a little bit rusty, of course, you know, but I mean, I got it, I got it. You know, I've done this before, no big deal. And then guys, oh my God, we get into holding pads, which uh, I was never really great at because I never did it for extended periods of time. I suck at that. Also, I noticed I flinch a lot too. I lost that ability to not flinch and my reflexes are off. Like I'm, I'm just, you know, and of course I got clipped a couple of times by accident, by the way and that kind of uh, traumatized me and, and put the fear of God into me a little bit. <laughs> now I'm like, oh my God, I, I can't believe I, I've lost it all. The throwing part, throwing hands, punching, kicking, blocking. Okay, got it, you know, no problem, I could do that. And it comes to somebody attacking me because at one point we did do situational sparring where that means that, <clears throat> you know, I might be the one just blocking and the other person will be only jabbing, for example, or only body shots or whatever, you know? So, uh, you know, we, we, we put a structure into what we're doing so that we could just focus on one element at a time, right? So maybe it's, you know, the person jabs and me, I'm in front and I just gotta, I just gotta block it, right? And then it might be a jab, a jab cross. So a jab crosses and yeah, I suck at that. I flinch. I run away, I don't know how to block, my timing's off, and then when it's, even when it's my turn to go attack the person, like even, even then I have a hard time like reading the person. It's a, it's a whole new experience because I specialize in grappling and, and that's my thing, right? But I believe as a martial artist, uh, it's just, it's important to be complete and also it's fun too. So now I'm gonna get back into it and I'm gonna share it with you guys as I, as I move forward in this because I do intend to get back to where I was uh, in terms of being comfortable, not flinching and sparring and getting hit and all that and having the right reactions. Uh, of course, I won't be competitive for now because my main thing is judo. I'll share with you guys my journey when it comes to Muay Thai. Ah, I can't believe I suck at this. That's it for this video, guys. I just want to share with you guys uh, why I'm starting back Muay Thai at uh, the age of 41. It's the thing, like honestly Muay Thai, I feel as though if there was only one striking art that I could pick to evolve in for self-defense, then I think Muay Thai would be the, the one that's the more um, complete. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think below. Have you guys been in this situation where you start something that you used to be good at or you felt you were pretty comfortable in and then all of a sudden you lost it all? And you know, I spoke to the coach and he actually said something funny. He's like, we lose reflexes as we age. And he laughed and he left. Anyways, leave the comments down below. And of course, uh, there's links in the bio. Follow me on you know, Instagram, Facebook. Of course, you could hire me for coaching. I do online coaching, so I can help you guys out if you need to. And I'll see you guys in the next one.